East Bridge Hospital. Claire, I thought we agreed the point of you moving in was to avoid hospitals. Mama. And East Ridge, I mean, isn't that by Covington? That's two hours of two lane highways back and forth. It's forward. not for me. It's a, a support group thing. Don't linger. I have the Symphony Ball ladies coming over any minute, and I do want you to put in an appearance. Yes, ma'am. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Are you, are you sure? No, but you're number 15. No, wait, wait. Uh, have you discharged an Arthur Wilhoyt to another uh, hospital? Thank you, thank you. Uh, when he got cancer last year, Arthur had to stop working for us. You know, I was at school, but um, someone mentioned that he was gonna try treatment. How, how is he? I'm so glad someone finally came to visit him. Claire. <laughs> I have been looking for you for so long. When, when I came home and you weren't there, it, it didn't feel like home at all. It's all right, baby. Why didn't you tell anyone where you were? I couldn't let anybody see me like this. We know you're sick, Arthur. I'm way past sick, child. I don't even have my face on. I don't mind. It's one thing to be lying in a hospital bed all day long. It's another to be lying in a hospital bed feeling ugly and naked. Why don't you? make yourself up anymore. With what? You think they'll let me out of here to run, pick up face cream? I could do it if you told me what to get. Do you have something to write with? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Black eyeliner, the pencil, if you can, mascara, some blush, MAC lipstick in Ruby Woo or Russian Red, and the matching liner, and some anti frizz hair serum. That's for you. Oh my goodness. Ruby, whoa. Woo hoo. <laughs> I hope this is what you wanted. Oh, thank you, baby.
May I? Do you remember when you did my makeup for prom? <sighs> you were so nervous <laughs> going with Robbie, what's his face? Hawthorne. Of course I was nervous. He was a total babe. He was pretty cute. Good thing somebody's daddy didn't catch us sneaking in late, late, late that night. Good thing somebody left the kitchen door open. Press. Very pretty. Girl, we are a long way from pretty. But I'm satisfied. I'm sorry that I can't come back and do this for you every day. Just leave the lipstick where I can reach it. As long as I got a little lipstick on, I'll be happy. <sighs> this is so unfair. There has got to be something else that we can do. Daddy knows every doctor on God's green earth. It's cancer, baby. I'm not getting out of here. How can you be so calm? Because, honey, anything Arthur wanted to do in his life, he did. It's OK. I'm OK. Now, about you. <laughs> Arthur, I feel... <laughs> Tell me, sweetheart. I'm just so... I'm so... I'm so... <laughs> lost. <laughs> You've got to listen to that little voice inside of you. I mean, really listen. Even if it seems like everyone is telling that voice to be quiet. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> Claire? Claire, what are you doing? Nothing. You've been sneaking around on tippy toe all week. Oh. Experimenting with some retail therapy, are we? I found Arthur. Oh? He's really sick. I've been getting some stuff organized to take to him tomorrow. If you're looking to give back, uh, the women at the church are organizing a clothing drive, and I've got plenty of things uh, that you can do. He's in Covington, so I probably won't come home for dinner. Uh, Claire, 
Going out there is not the best idea. Nobody's making you come. No, I mean for you. Uh, Arthur's dying, Mom. It's not like he's family. You can't go traipsing halfway across the state to visit. Oh, honey, how does it look? To who? You? The garden club? Now you listen. Your father and I have paid good money so you can get better. Talking to Arthur makes me feel better, Mom. And it was adorable. You'd have your heart-to-hearts at the kitchen table when you were little, but we are your parents. And, and the he's one. the hell. Damn it, Claire. Don't you talk to me like that. Your father and I have given you every single thing that you have ever asked I'm not for asking you for anything. How can you want to talk to him and not your own mother? Because until he dies, every time Arthur looks at me, all he sees is me. And not what he wants me to be. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. He went very peacefully. Mr. Willhoyt asked me to be sure to give you this. <laughs> 